Planet Scale just launched a new feature called Insights. Why should you care? Because Insights is going to make it much easier for you to debug your slow and costly database queries. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Planet Scale channel. My name is James Quick, and I'm a developer advocate here at Planet Scale. And I want to talk to you about Planet Scale Insights, one of our new features to help you, as we said, debug your slow and costly queries. Now, this is one of the things that historically for me personally has been really hard to debug is let's say you're running an application. All of a sudden your application feels slow, but you don't really know what's going on. Where do you go to try to figure out what part of your application specifically in your database interactions is slowing down your application? And most importantly, why? So how do you find those metrics and how do you then diagnose them and turn them into something tangible that you can take to change in your application, in your code to improve their performance of your application? So I think the best idea here is to just take a look at the actual dashboard for Planet Scale Insights. So I'm inside of an application that we have called Beam. Now this is actually an open source project that you can go and check out. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the description below on GitHub. And what Beam is, is basically a messaging tool or a posting tool where we send uh, posts internally to ourselves about highlights or recaps or things we've done that we wanna share with the entire company comes with features like likes and markdown and comments and things like that. So you can check that out yourself. I actually got one set up on uh, my own. You can see my dummy data here uh, from this open source repo in a few minutes. So you can go and do that if you want. But this is our actual Beam application that we use every day here at PlanetScale. So inside of the dashboard, the PlanetScale dashboard, we now have this insights tab. So when you come over to insights, you can see there's a lot of information that's available to you. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have this graph where it'll show you in increments of 10 minutes how your queries are performing. So you can check out metrics like rows read, rows written, query latency, and number of queries per second in those 10 minute windows. Now this is available on the free plan for the last 24 hours and you can upgrade to get more days further into the past as you can see here. Notice as I click on those individual days, it shows me metrics only within those time periods. Now, in addition to that, one really cool thing is that we have a tie-in with the idea of our branches and deploy requests in PlanetScale. This is one of our most unique features. And if we take a look at the actual PlanetScale database, the one that's actually used in production, you can see on here that it has links to and little tags for the different deploy requests. These would be schema migrations that we've made changes for, which then gives you the ability to kind of look before the schema migration or before the schema change and after how your queries are performing. Now, one additional really cool thing is that this link actually takes you directly to that deploy request where you can see the actual schema changes that took place. And then if you scroll down, you'll see we have a list of the queries that you've run in the last 24 hours, including all of those individual metrics. So you can see the actual SQL statement here, as well as the individual metric metrics for each one of these individual queries. Now, one thing for people to keep an eye out for is a really high relationship between the number of rows read and the number of rows returned. Oftentimes that's an indicator that you might need an index to help your database query, query less records, but still be able to get the same result. Now, another neat thing is that you can create a drag and drop to select a specific window of time in here that will update the number of queries to only be from those specific time frames that you selected in your range. So let's take a look at what this will look like if we have something that's taking a long time. Thankfully, we can kind of simulate this inside of the console inside of Planet Scale. So we can go to the branches, we can click on our main branch, and then we can run a sleep query inside of our console so that I can show you what this looks like when we have an underperforming query to say the least. So I'm gonna paste in the sleep. This will have it sleep for 1.1 seconds. Uh, the threshold for these slow queries right now is a second, so this will actually trigger as a slow query. So we can run this, and then we can go back to our Beam database and go into Insights and scroll down. And just within those couple of seconds, now that record is here showing that it ran for over a second and it's highlighted in red. So at a glance, you can scroll through your queries and you can see which ones are underperforming or ones that you should go and take a look at. You can also filter by these or, or sort by these. You can say, give me all the longest queries that I've done. And you can see this is the only one that's been done that's over that threshold in the last 24 hours. Now from there, you could go in and click on these details. And there's one specific detail that I wanna share in here that is really useful is we can do things like tags inside of our queries and then view those tags inside of this dashboard. So you can see under the slow query instances on this branch, you can see this query that we just ran. 
but it doesn't have any tags. So one thing to clarify before we go and show the tag functionality is this idea of instances. So what Planet Scale is going to be able to do is track your different queries together based on a pattern. So you can see here, this has a pattern of select sleep from, and it has this uh, placeholder here. We're gonna update these names to something more human readable. But for now, you can see this has a placeholder, which means it's going to look for different instances of this query, even if the amount of time for the sleep is different. So let's actually take a look at that. Let's go back to our branches. Let's go on to the main branch. Let's go into the console and let's paste in that same query, but this time let's run 1.5 seconds. So it'll sleep for just a little bit longer. So that will run. Then let's go back to our insights tab and we should see that this has now been run again. So if we come and open the details here, now you see this thing has been run again. It's still grouped by the pattern of the query, even though that uh, the variable of how long the actual query would run is different. So it's a great way to group these things and then aggregate them into a view that you can kind of look at. And let's take a look at another example. This is another query inside of the Beam database. And you can see here, this is a query pattern where we're querying for post information. So we want all these different properties. And at the end, we you can see we're querying by the post.id with a limit, et cetera. So you see those placeholders still stand. So regardless of what posts we're actually looking for, PlanetScale is gonna recognize that as a pattern and be able to track information about that pattern collectively together. So the next thing I wanna show you is this ability to add tags to this. So we support SQL Commenter. It's basically a way to add comments into your SQL statements where you can include key value pairs. So an example of this may be, you might wanna know what controller in your code actually made this database query. That way you can associate this specific query with a piece of code that you can go and look at and figure out how to optimize that query in code. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Let's go into our branches again. Let's go into our main branch. We'll go back to the console. And now I'm gonna copy in a little bit longer query. It's gonna do a sleep again, but it's also gonna add these key value pairs. So we have the key is the key for the first one and then the value here and X and Y and A and B. So maybe we want something a little more specific. So let's say we wanted to know which controller was actually handling this. Well, we could say this is the post controller. So maybe this is a specific file where you can go and actually look at what the code is doing. So we can run this query with these comments in there. Again, based on SQL comments, or we'll include a link to this in the description below. And then we go back to our overview of the database and go into the insights tab. We'll go back into the details of the sleep query. Notice it's been run three times with a total amount of time based on that pattern. It's grouping those together. And then we go into here and we're able to see that this has the tag of controller and post controller. Now, as you start to make changes to your code, you may have version numbers of these queries. You can kind of compare and contrast them together. You may have indicators of what piece of your project the code is actually in. Again, so you can go and work on that query and make whatever improvements you need to. Now, we had a really cool example internally where we showed the features of Insights and how it influenced a query that we have in Beam. So we noticed that inside of Beam, there was one query that had a lot of rows read, but very few rows returned. Often that's an indicator of your ability to potentially increase the performance of that query and just make it faster and read less records to get the same out of it. So you can see in this example, we were able to lower the amount of rows read in this query to something significantly smaller, which is then going to speed up the overall query itself. Now that indication of the query being underperforming is something that we got from our insights feature. So this is something that we actually use internally for our own platform and then for something like Beam that we run internally for ourselves anyway. So that is our Planet Scale Insights feature. It's gonna make it much easier for you to debug your queries and decide where and how to go and make changes in your code to improve the performance of your application as well as your database interactions. If you want to give it a shot, we'll have a link to the documentation where you can get started in the description below, so check that out. If you do give it a shot and have any suggestions or feedback on it, make sure to leave those in the comments below as well. We'd love to hear that as we make improvements to the tool and continue to iterate on it. Thanks as always for checking out the video. We'll catch you in the next one.